Welcome to this video on how to create a menu bar in Java. My name's Andy Wicks. In this video I'm only going to show you how to set up the menu bar itself. How to get the individual items underneath that to run, well that's the subject to the next video. Let me show you this running first. In this example what I'm trying to do is to create a menu bar that sits at the top of a program. And here is that menu bar. I've got two items in the menu bar using JFile Chooser and Exit. When I click on using JFile Chooser there are two items come up. Seeing it run brings up an option of four other things and if I run over viewing the code it's the same four items. But notice that in each of these cases I've got a little image along the side. It makes it a little easier for the user. So the only thing that works here is the exit. So having done that, let's carry on and see how to build the menu bar. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is define the variables I need. I need a menu bar, which I'm calling menu bar. I need a use it, see it run, view the code and exit menu items. Menu items are slightly different to what you would expect. A menu item itself is the end product, that thing with the icons on the end, whereas menu by itself is something that has submenus underneath it. So a menu is a list of other things as well. For example, in the code that I just showed you, you could see the see it run option See it run was an item that had four other things underneath it. It had see it run open, see it run save, see it run type, and see it run directory. And likewise for view the code. View the code open, view the code save, and view the code type, and view the code directory. Now let's see how to create this. The first thing to notice is that I've used a standard frame and implements. I've got action listener and key listener because I need those for the next program. Now creating the menu bar itself. I've defined a menu bar, now I'm going to instantiate it. So menu bar is going to be a new menu bar. That's the blank bar at the top. Now I need to add things to it. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a menu item called using JFile Chooser. JFile Chooser is going to be a menu item that I've called Use It. I'm going to add a listener to Use It. As I said, that's happening in the next video. And then I'm going to add to the menu bar Use It. So that text, JFile Chooser, now becomes an item in the menu bar itself. Likewise, I'm going to add an exit. But in this case I'm going to add a keystroke possibility, a key event. When the user presses X the key event will fire and that will take them out of the program. Again there's a listener in the next program but I'm going to add exit to the menu bar. So the menu bar now has two things on it. It has using JFile Chooser and Exit. An Exit will have its X underlined. Now we can come to the submenus. I'm going to create something called See It Run, which is a new menu. You'll remember a menu is things that has things underneath it. The text is going to be See It Run and I'm going to add the listener, but I'm going to add see it run to use it, not to the menu bar. Use it, you'll remember, is the item that says J file chooser. I'm also going to add a view code to use it, so that there is a second option underneath using J file chooser. Now I've got these two items. I can add the sub items to each of those. Here I've got the new menu item now because this is the end of the road. 
we've got the new menu item and it's going to have the text open a file and in this case it's going to take from the images directory a graphic called open document 16 dot gif and add that as the icon at the side I'm adding a listener and then I'm adding this open menu to see it run I've got another item here see it run save the text for that is save a file and it has a different image save 16 gif I'm adding that to see it run. See it run now has two items underneath it. The third item is going to be see it run type. Select a file type with its image. I'm going to add that to see it run as well. That's the third one. And then I have the last one in this subdirectory that allows me to see just directories only. Directories and a folder image I've added an action listener and I've added that to see it run. I can do exactly the same with view the code. I have the four options here and I've set those up in exactly the same way. The only difference is that I'm adding each of these to view the code menus not to see it run. So for each of these I've added it to view the code. That's open, save, type and directories only. Now I've set up the menu structure. I need to add the menu bar to this uh, default frame. So it's this dot set J menu bar and the name of the menu bar. And that has now created the, uh, the program that you see above. Here we have using J file chooser, see it run, viewing the code and each of their sub items. I hope you found that useful.